Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to freaking Screaming Violins. Flesh pot. Give me your crystals. Oh, whoa, there's an invisible wall. Socket. 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 Oh, bye bye. Okay, which one are you? Is this the architect one? Yeah, it's the architect one. How come I only get one of each? Oh, come, what the heck? The invisible walls here are crazy. Ew, oh, how oh, oh, gall. What is down there? What's down there? I can't see it! Ah! <laughs> okay. There's nothing else around. Oh, so you recognize those statues? Thank you for saving after this. Has a lot of talking to have to go back through again. Actually, let's just uh, speak your mind. Speak your mind. Okay. I think I have a longer reach on mine than she does. I could just be going crazy though. Okay. Wait. Come on. Yes. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? What? What? Did he really say that? Oh, did she move? Did she move? No! If you insist. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Ready to dispense the herds. This should be. Yeah, don't touch me. Do not run over there. Do not run over there. Let's get started. Children's pop out, I'll be so mad. Vestments of earth, earth mill. The embroidery on this robe, is, I, th I thought I recognized that name, suggests it once belonged to a worshiper of earthy mile, earth, earthy meal, earthy mile. The dragon of beauty, plus six magic, plus one mana regeneration in combat, and seven armor. Okay, let's take a look. I don't want it, I mean, it looks cool. Uh, ooh, you probably will get it. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Or... <laughs> I'm sorry, Anders, it's for your own good! Hmm... Yep, yeah, go ahead. Ooh, that's a nice color, I like. He looks so cool with that staff and everything, and, and the Don't green. Oh, Don't come me. on! I did that on purpose. Yeah. Right, this should be easy enough. Stay still. Let's get started. This should be oh, easy enough. Oh, um... Nope. Am I? Oh, okay. I was about to get stepped on. I'm blasting dragons into next gear. Yeah. Would you mind? Time for a little cleanup. Did it get it off? Weapons me? at the ready. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Okay. We have done. Oh, well. okay. We have done well. Okay. Okay. We'll just wait for my little lightning storm to abate. 
I'm just really hoping everything is working on my computer. Because I don't want to have to redo any of it, that's for sure. There's, yeah, I thought I heard something. Okay. Um, right maybe now. we can freaking do it again? Why not? I mean, it's gonna probably come over here, but... Don't run over there, Nathaniel! Oh, shoot, whoa! Direct me. Where am I at? I'm right there. Okay, you got that frozen. Got I will it. punch it. Got it! Alright, that did not work. Um... Oh wait, uh, I have this, I have this, I have this! Is it go? Got you! Is he on fire? He better not be on fire. I'm gonna be so angry if he's on fire. Oh, Nathaniel. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh! Yeah, she did that! Hey, how about I do that too? Combine our nature powers. Oh no, that's in spells, that's right. Wow! And then the other one. This should be. Oh, come on! Do you have it? Do you have the frost thing? No, you don't. I could we could force field it. I think that would work. Oh. Put me down! Yeah, you say that as you're up there. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be able to move. Are you dead? I think you're dead. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Nope, take that off. It might be useful, but... I think that one actually drains constantly, so I don't... Whoa, Anders, what are you? what do you have on? Oh, he has force. Oh, that puts it on him and not on somebody else? Oh. Yes, friend. Oh, did you hear that? He called me friend. So he can't. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. I see. That makes sense now. I mean, sort of. Not really. Seems kind of silly, to be honest, but whatever. Fine. Ah! The this should be easy enough. Hey, you missed the fight. It was earlier. Let's get started. I'm sure there's more, but it's like he just like showed up at the last second. He's like, doop 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 boop. Stay away from me, nasties. Oh, what you? Oh, I was like, you resist it. Started. Right, as you wish. This should be. Take that! Take that! Oh wow! Oh, there's a bunch of you. Oh crap! I don't know if that's gonna work, actually. You guys might be too far out of it. Oh boy, you guys are fast. No, get off me. No, not fair, not fair, not fair. No, 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 get off. Ow, how do I get it off me? There's absolutely nothing I can do to get it off me. What needs killing? Um, do you have that frost ability? They'll never know what hit him. Uh, I, I, oh, it caught the one that was trying to eat me, at least. Let's use... Wait. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. This one. Oh, well, there you go. Come on up, kiddo. Oh, wait. What's wrong with her? Oh, is she being poisoned? Oh, okay, she's not being poisoned anymore. Okay. I'm unable to do that. Okay. Well, now I'm just worried that one of them... I wish I could tell the first thing. Oh. Oh, uh, thank. I'm just gonna keep it. Creators. Like Never thought child. I'd be traveling with gray wardens. Ah, uh, you're past that point now, dude. Ah! Uh, let's try to paralyze one, I guess. Um, if they they won't stay down there, will Spells. they? It's coming not right up. Spouch, coming right up. I don't really have anything that's like perfect for them, I don't think. 
I this mean, should be easy enough. Usually lightning works really well against <laughs> these lightning. types of things, but maybe I should just do... Hold on. Um... As you wish. And then... On it. I think they're being stuck. Did I put the glyph of repulsion down? I didn't think that worked this should at be me. Easy Okay, there we go. Ooh, and then he did his, uh, his floaty floaty NIST! Ah! <laughs> he did his floaty floaty thing. That's... Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa! I didn't see you down there, I didn't see you. I was like, oh yeah, we're all done. Uh, spell. Heretic Disciple, what does that mean? Like, is he the mother or what? I don't know. Right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I killed you! There's probably a big guy down there, though, in there. Um, I don't think Nathaniel has any sneak. I heard something. Oh, I heard something. Is this the nest? Oh, that, that's the way into the nest. Up ahead. I'm like, no, Anders, don't go down. She's trying to cast Armed a fire dangerous spell. Ready for action. As you As you wow. Oh, it just... Whose is that? There's two of them down there. Isn't there? Is that two? It, like, moved. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was... Uh, I think there's just one, but... Okay, so that wasn't... That wasn't too bad. I'll be dang though, that mana burst is practically like OP. Dark spawn approach. Watch oh your blood. no! I don't even know. Nope. Um. Nasties. Uh. Nope. Maybe. Go! I don't think that works on them. Oh, I did the frost thing. This nice! On it. Um... Let's get started. Oh, it's for this? Oh, right. On it. Let's get started. Die! I already died. Die, 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 um, am I? I'm not being overwhelmed. I don't want to hit Anders or Nathaniel. Okay, here we go. Hiya! Any more? Please wake up while we're here. I have. Oh, mean! If you don't bring somebody who can unlock it, you can't get all the time. crystals. Jeez, they really do OP the rogue. Or they just make it so that you. They're like, you have to bring one of everybody, it's only fair. More crystal. Or maybe there's just extra crystals. But according to my dealy wop, there's at least one more. Yeah. Unless I. Oh no, I, how did I get them all? I will, oh, did I? I, will, I don't know. I must not have been paying attention. Jeez. Um, you gonna auto save? I'm gonna save on my own. Actually, <coughs> actually. Now my voice is starting to go. It's okay. We'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just looks like a lovely place to go. So we've been working our way down this whole time. Yeah, gather party adventure forth. I don't think anybody's died. Oh, Nathaniel did die once. I might have to see if he needs a lesser poultice. Hi, unlocked. Ah, there she is. Hang on, did he die? Nope. Injuries, 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 then nobody. Will be done. Oh my gosh, are you ready, you guys? 
Is she gonna talk to us first or what? Or do we have to fight through a bunch of children? Like, can I just start attacking her or what? Okay. Usually the villains have to make a monologue, you know? Now the pieces fall into place. The Grey Warden comes, the instrument of the father. Oh, and the father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. She was human once. I have told you many times, Mother. I am not the father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. What's done is done. The mother is a whore and must die. Ah, but perhaps the warden would like to hear how it was that the father began the blight. You want the source of the archdemon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! Let's hear this. Oh, does she speak oh. the truth? Cool one for the mother, huh? Yeah. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemio. But I did not wow. wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn. Unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. Do you even think about the repercussions of your eyes? That's kind of what I, I want to say, even back at the beginning. It's like, you do all these experiments, but are you actually... It's like, my plans have not gone to plan. It's like, have you even thought about backup plans here? Is it not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done? In the name of combating the Blight... We don't create the Blights! The Blight is a menace. Both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. And he speaks how the truth. lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. He claims he wishes the Darkspawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow. You cannot harm the mother wow. any more than you already have. And now the hero is alone. No, I'm not. I've got my friends. Oh, the mother knows your ways. You will not let her be. No, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. <laughs> Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Does she want? Oh my gosh! Not okay! Destroy the oh my gosh! Oh, it's the tentacle thing again. Is there any way to get out of range of the tentacles? That I feel like children are gonna pop up too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Out, out, out. Oh! Architect's my ally, you can call on him, or any to venture towers you activated. Can I use them multiple times? Uh, I mean, it says I can only, I think it says I can only use them once. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to use any of those right now. Oh, man, they do not stop, do they? They just follow you? Okay, um, I get, okay, all right, we'll just try this targeted attack. attack! Did that work? I don't know if that works. Right, on it. This should wow, be oh no, that was wasted. Oh no, I wanted it to hit her. Did it hit her? I don't think, me. I don't think it did. And it's putting us, it's putting us on fire. <laughs> Um, hang on. We all need to have, like, regener our regenerative abilities on. Uh, 
combat magic, um, arcane shield, and oh shoot, I don't have any magic. What happened? What? Did she do that? No! I just put them on! Shoot! Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Anders, nope. Take a health, Baltis. Now! Oh, dude, he's dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is Sir Pouncelot? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come back, Anders! Take a health, Baltis. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Yeah, I only have one chance. Okay, we stunned everything. He's dead again. Um, he can't be dead. He can't be dead. But I don't. There's too much fire in this area. Do we need to like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need to like. I thought the fire would stop. Oh, does it burn continuously? Oh, and then I, when I choose something else, it it does something else. Oh, where is he? Where is Sir Pounce a lot? Oh, I haven't. I can't use him yet. Oh. Nah. Um. Well, dang. Nah. While I don't have any abilities, I guess I'll transform. Right. Oh, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how to do this! I don't know how to do this fight! There's too much going on! Um... Gosh dang it! Okay. Um... On it. What else do I need? Oh, I can't. I don't have elemental mastery yet. Okay. Okay. I need to use. You'll never know what hit him. I need to use Sir Pounce a lot now. As you wish. <laughs> okay, good. Name Sir Pounce a lot? <laughs> yes. It's a Armed and dangerous, ready for action. Speak, and it will be done. Okay. Um. What is my task? Actually, since nobody can get directly next to her. my sword and well hey you know well no okay mm. nope I need uh, I would I need to I want to use them though I want to use it let's get started right. there okay um hang on am I doing any damage right oh a little bit but yeah it would be better to keep my distance from her uh, I should have been using my sword earlier. Oh well. At least I used it once. Um, let's see. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, wow, that really took her out, didn't it? 
Speak, and it will be done. Wow, that took out a lot of her health. Hopefully she doesn't like get it back. Um, can you not reach her? Oh. Can we do Wow, is she not like this? Weapons at the ready! You guys, that's really odd. Come on, do not, do not let her call anything else. Okay. Um, let's get started. Um, is this gonna, will this work on you? Oh, it worked on you! That's like OP too, jeez. Right. Yes! Oh man, unless she has like another form. Oh my gosh. What's going on? What is going on? Oh my gosh! Oh, look at me! Oh, I should have taken off some of my, my fade stuff. Oh well. That was cool though! Haha, <laughs> we did it! Anders, you look ridiculous! What am I doing? What are we doing now? I look so scary. Is that it? Wow. Oh my gosh! That's the end? After the death of the mother, the remaining Darkspawn forces scattered and fled back into the deep roads. The raids on Amaranthine came to an abrupt end. The architect apparently kept his word, gathering his remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back underground. Those Grey Wardens in other nature in other nations were appalled to hear of the architect's continued existence, but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. Some within the Order have claimed that the architect's survival guarantees another blight, and yet the Deep Roads have lately been quieter than any can recall. Many have resignedly decided that it is now in the Maker's hands. Word of the Grey Warden's heroic salvation of Amaranthine spread like wildfire when the magnitude of the losses at Vigil's Keep came to light. Sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the region's coffers. Amaranthine was restored to her former glory within a year, Vigil's Keep in five. Because of the Warden's support for law and order in Amaranthine, Constable Aiden and his men were able to distribute the smugglers' goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Darkspawn defeat. Good! The Darkspawn messenger... Set free after joining the Wardens in the Battle of Amaranthine, struck out on his own. The city soon buzzed with stories of a cloaked but lisping figure who aided travelers in danger. At the same time, reports of isolated cases of darkspawn disease emerged. No one connected the two. The war devastated the farm holds of the Arling, but the land survived. In time, opportunity would attract settlers from other regions, as always. Dirk, one of the pranksters behind the... The Blight Orphan scam was fortunate enough to survive the Battle of Amaranthine. The unconditional generosity of the Blight Orphan's mysterious benefactor inspired him to establish a legitimate charity dedicated to children orphaned in the attack. His sweetheart, Melise, eventually bore him two rascals. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, okay, I only donated once. Vigil's Keep stood alone against a horde of darkspawn. The Mother's forces outnumbered the Vigil's defenders many times over. But the sturdy dwarven walls proved impervious to any boulder an ogre could throw. The vigil soldiers clad in silverite each felled a dozen darkspawn before they died. The vigil held one night, then two, then a week, and eventually the attacking horror broke upon her walls. The keep developed an almost mythic reputation, the few survivors immortalized in song and legend. Who survived? The vigil became a trading hub that eventually eclipsed the city of Amaranthine, with traders reassured by guards continued patrolling the vigil path, but prosperity bred scheming and treachery between merchants and nobles, testing the commander's patience for years to come. Peace allowed the Wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, Vigils Keep bore a capable army with Wardens at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all of Ferelden. Through taxes and levies, the Vigil was rebuilt. Years later, Voldric Glavenach stood on the battlements and pronounced that the defenses were acceptable. He would never speak more highly of any, any human engineering. Dark whispers of conspiracy against the Wardens fell silent after a rash of accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Ban Esmerel. The nobles of Amaranthine remained dutiful. Some even suggest they were cowed in a submission. Oh. Was that, would that have anything to do with the one I did? With the conspiracy I did? Among the many legends, 
that the Vigil Spawn was one of the great heroes of the next age, a sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. What? The commander's blade, vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly stolen by the Antivan crows? The blade changed hands many times thereafter, with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade had a life, has, a, has had a life of its own and its power is steadily growing. Where is Zevran in all these scenarios where Antivan crows are stealing and trying to kill me? The vigil soldier wearing the distinctive silver white armor that Master Wade crafted came to be known as the Silver Order. Under the tutelage of the wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of Feldon's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the vigil's famous commander. This is awesome! Even little things like this! They're like leaving a lasting impression, like the fact that I found silver white ore. Like, that's amazing! With the Velana. Wait! What? Velana and the architect are Sorani with Velana. What? Oh, okay. From okay, the pilgrims path began to see traffic again. The massacre of the militiamen and the merchants, however, led to hostilities between neighbor neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that happened to pass by. One human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child. The clans reacted by giving the Wending Wood a wide berth, but both sides knew that at some point the elves would return for revenge. You're darn toot. Are you serious? Kidnapped and murdered a Dalish. Who the frick did that? Like, I will murder them in, like, cold blood, even if they're begging. You don't just kidnap and kill children. That's not okay. I'm surprised the clan the clans have reacted adversely for less than this. The murder of a, man, a warrior is one thing. The murder of a child is another. And if they are waiting, I would be terrified to be those people because the only reason they would wait is because their revenge is going to be complete and total and they're going to murder everybody, which is going to be over the top. But they're going to murder everybody. A few years after Cal Haral was emptied of Darkspawn, Orzmar began sending expeditions to rediscover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the Taig. Eventually, House Helmy decided that Cal Haral was too important to be abandoned at tremendous cost of dwarven lives. They cleared... Oh, Helmy isn't the one who's in charge, but those were ones I helped. They cleared the tunnels leading to Cal Haral of all Darkspawn, making the road between Orzammar and the fortress safe. Wow, Cal Haral was reclaimed for Orzammar once and for all. As promised, Veldrick and Dworkin, Dworkin presented Orzammar's ship right with a stone marker that told of how Cal Haral's caseless had taken up arms against the Darkspawn. The commander of the Grey was invited to Orzammar as a guest of honor at a feast commemorating the defenders of Calhoral. The Shaper read the names of the caseless off the marker, then presided over a ceremony to return them to the stone as befitted warriors of their stature. In time, the Arling began to forget the tales of apparitions in the Black Marsh, and ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the veil was still thin, and thus the area is still dangerous, but people, the people only cared that there were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another time by an Orlesian mage. Both died mysteriously. Afterwards, the mansion was torn down and the site left untouched. Anders remained with the Grey Wardens for a few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages, but when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a nature on the nature of the architect, much to the Templar's dismay, Anders told the commander of the Grey that his time with the Wardens was over. You can't just, you can't just leave! You can't just leave the... <laughs> It's not how it works. Yet, not well, oh, not two months later, Anders returned to the Order. Ever after, the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. Oh, Anders, I'm so glad. Thelana never saw her clan again, but neither did she forsake her Dalish culture, nor her sharp tongue, nor her quick temper. After several years in the Grey Wardens, Velana disappeared one day. Most surmise that she left for the Deep Rose to resume the search for her sister, but no one knows for sure. Yeah, after several years, why would she after that long? Over the next few years, Nathaniel dedicated himself to order and to clearing the blemishes on his family's name. After saving Terran Fergus Kuslin, oh, saving the Kuslins from a bandit attack, a portion of Amaranthine was returned to the house. Nathaniel passed the holding to Delilah's son, and when a new castle was eventually built there, a statue of Nathaniel was erected in the courtyard. Justice fought valiantly for the Battle of Vigil's Keep, but before the victory horn sounded, a dark spawn sword removed Kristoff's head. It was, of course, unclear whether the spirit of justice perished or simply departed. At the least, Kristoff's wife, Aura, was finally able to claim her husband's ashes. It was Sigrun 
who led the charge against the Darkspawn when Vigil's Keep was attacked. That's one of the reasons I left her there. Once again, she had an army behind her, and once again, they fought the Darkspawn with no hope of survival. This time, Sigrun did not flee. Did she die? At Vigil's Keep, Ogryn rallied a last minute defend at the gate, taking on two ogres simultaneously to allow others to regain time to regain the courtyard. He eventually passed out from blood loss, and when he awoke weeks later, nobody was more surprised than he to discover he'd been credited a hero. I'm so glad. I'm hope I don't think Justice can't die. I don't he must have been released. He must have gone back to the Fae. But is Sigrun alive? Ogryn continued to regale young warden recruits with tales of his prowess in both battle and bed. <laughs> his drinking games prompted at least one recruit to declare that she'd rather reattempt the joining than lift another mug. Felsi returned to Visual's keep several times to see Ogryn, usually bringing their toddler as well. Yeah. Ogryn's inability to act seriously wore on her, however, and her visit swindled and stopped altogether. If Ogryn missed her or his child, he never showed it. That... That bothers me. I wish I could have done his quest. I bet you if I'd have done his quest, things would have been better. But the fact that he is capable of just abandoning his child and, and his wife, like, I can see not being fit for, you know, like, uh, a domestic life or whatever. But he shouldn't have had a child then. He shouldn't have tried to fit that life if he didn't think he, unless didn't think he was ready for it. As for the savior of Ferelden, she did not remain as commander of the Grey for long. The Darkspawn were no longer a real concern, and the blight well, the blight well and truly over. It was time for her to move on. <laughs> Some claim the commander went to Antiva, chasing after the assassin Zevran. One, one rumor suggests that the pair engaged in a terrible showdown in the Antivan capital, and the others say they took over the crows. Perhaps they adventure together still. I love it! I love it! <laughs> That's exactly how it should be. Exactly. Wow, is that the end? Oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> you guys, that was so good. Oh my gosh, I loved it. And that, that epilogue was actually, I think, even better than Origins. Like, there was so much detail. Like, every. I think they were able to do that, right? They were able to take into account all the little quests. Because there weren't as many. It's it's a much more condensed, basically a very condensed version of Origins. I think that's why the dialogue and the banter was better. Because they were able to just put in the good stuff and not have to worry about filler stuff. Notes were funnier. Descriptions were a little bit funnier. That's because we didn't have to have any filler stuff in there. So all we got was the good stuff, you know? But, um... Yeah, that was... I loved it. There were several times where I was like, I just want to go play Dragon Age 2, you know. And there was at one point, actually, where I did go try to play Dragon Age 2. I was like, I'm just going to start it and maybe I'll do the, uh, maybe I'll upload Awakening or not. I'm probably not going to upload that part because I was, I was like high out of my mind. I was like really tired and I was like frustrated with my computer and I was like, screw this. So... But I did want to experiment and see if my if my save would upload, but I think it did. It seemed like it worked, and hopefully, I've heard that this one isn't too difficult to upload either. But I'll be danged, guys. That's so good. And the characters were really cool. Like, I liked all of them. They were all really cool. I think Sigrun probably died. It kind of made it sound like she did, but... Next time I do this, I'm going to make sure that I get everybody's quest. And, like, I do it properly. I wonder how Valana's would have been different. Um, I don't know. I, but, wow. David Guider, yeah, lead writer. But, that was so interesting. I wonder what would have happened if we'd have tried to kill the architect. I don't think you can actually kill him. He probably would have booped away somehow. Nicholas N.G. Manson. What is Nick Manson? Nick Manson. That's interesting. Some of the last names are so interesting. You guys, I'm so glad you had me play this. This was so awesome. Oh, now I gotta play Witch Hunt. I totally forgot, actually. I totally almost spaced Witch Hunt for a second. Oh, man. I did that in the right order, right? Did I not do that in the right order? Oh, my gosh. I thought... I thought... Um... Oh, shoot. I will be so mad if I did that in the wrong order. I was pretty sure Awakening had to go first and then Witch Hunt. Did I totally play that? I think I did that wrong. Did I do it wrong? I'm trying to see if it's in these notes anywhere. 
Okay, good. Okay, yes. Awakening and then witch hunt. Okay, but that kind of doesn't make sense because the awakening is like, and then they ran off happily ever after, and now I'm gonna be like, just kidding, I went to go find Morgan. <laughs> but this is awesome! I really like my character too, Durthar. I got very attached to her. She's. I like the way they describe the ending, and I like that you still, like, you can go, like, <laughs> with Zephra and it's like there's a big showdown either that or they took over the crows and I'm like you know just because I like Zephra doesn't necessarily mean I want to take over the crows you know what I mean wow that was awesome I awakening everybody everybody was saying that it's pretty buggy but that it's fantastic story wise and I agree it was really cohesive it was tight well made I'm incredibly, incredibly satisfied with that. I am indeed. Whoa, okay. Well, now I might just freaking, I'm all wide awake. I might just freaking load up. Wow, this screen seems so much brighter. I wonder if, like, I wonder if the other setting really did mess with it. But, anyway. Thank you guys for joining me on this awakening journey. It was awesome. And now we're gonna jump into Witch Hunt, which is only gonna be a couple of hours, hopefully. And then and then we'll do Dragon Age 2. I'm excited. I feel like I feel like my illness is well and gone. That freaking hot milk and honey was fantastic. Saved my throat for this. But um thank you guys again for all your help. For everybody who commented with advice and just support in general, and for the people who just viewed, for the people who just watching, I appreciate you too. So uh, thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next series.